Hi friends, uh, this is Tej here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Calabash Android on Windows and run it on my Android device. First, uh, let's go to this link. This is the Calabash Android the GitHub project where it gives the steps to install. And for more detailed steps, uh, we can also refer to this blog which has a nice uh, set of instructions. Before starting your Calabash installations, you should have Ruby installed so you can go to Ruby installer uh, Ruby installer website and download that and then you need to have Android SDK which you can get from developer.android.com slash SDK slash index.html so download the Android SDK uh, unzip it you will get the Android SDK bundle and uh, which contains uh, some APIs and also AVD manager and SDK manager which looks something like And also, you'll get a uh, folder with uh, Eclipse. Launch to Eclipse, and then uh, you'll have this uh, Android SDK manager integrated with that. So your Eclipse looks something like this. Yeah. So to make sure, um, <coughs> using Eclipse, uh, it will create uh, a dot. Uh, it will create a debug key store for you. So you, uh, you, which you will need it when you want to resign the apps. So the uh, debug key store will be present in users, uh, your name, and then dot android, and then you'll have it uh, somewhere here. Yeah. So we have Ruby, we have uh, Android SDK Manager installed. Next thing is you need to have you need to set, uh, set few path variables. We'll do that later. Uh, when you're installing Ruby, you'll get an option to set get an option to let me show you so when you start installing your ruby you will get an option to add the ruby executables to your path so that once you do this you don't need to set the ruby path variable if you forget to do it, reinstall it. That's the easiest way. Or else you could manually and go, go and set it in environment variables. I can. I'll show that to you uh, for setting environment variables for Android SDK and uh, uh, what else? Android Home variable. So I'll quit this because I've already installed. So if I go into my command prompt, I can see that I have installed 1.9.3 Ruby. Um, after you install Ruby, you need to close your command prompt and reopen it again. So you should then you should see the Ruby version in that. Then you need to install Calabash Gem, which is uh, you need to use. type in this command. Gem install Calabash. Type on Android. These are the same same steps. Uh, So after this you will have Android SDK Manager, Ruby, Calabash Android installed. So next thing you need to do is just set the system variables. So to that, for doing that you need to go here, click on properties, then advanced settings, environment variables. So you need to set Android on score home variable, uh, create new, click on new, enter Android on score home and select the path of your uh, copy and paste the path of your SDK so in my case uh, it's in it's here Android SDK so it's the place where your AVD manager and SDK manager are present Go there. then you need to set your Java underscore home uh, this should point to your Java JDK not JRE and be careful with that um, Another thing is after you installed Android SDK, you need to put this path in here, which was basically going to the Android SDK folder and put slash platform hyphen tools. So it's it, it, this is the folder which has uh, your ADB and AVD. So ADB, if you don't know, it's an Android uh, debug Android debug bridge, which will help you to communicate with the devices. 
but it's not essential for calabash but it's essential for doing other things with calabash so after you have done that if you run adb devices you should see uh, devices if you have connected any devices or emulator you should see it here and okay now you should be all set to go the next thing you need to have from calabash perspective is you need to have features I'm deleting these features and test server because it was already created for so all to create it freshly and show you how it happens go to your calabash and go to console and type in calabash android run choose pickup use apk calabash needs a test server in order to run the test so, uh, the test server is like a is, is an instrumentation backend server which like a daemon which uh, which will be running on the actual device so which will essentially help you communicate between the device and uh, the machine the pc which you are using so that's created in here but my test did not run because there were no feature files created so let's create a template which is like a default uh, template provided by Calabash Calabash Android gen it says okay there's it will create the sub di uh, called directory called features and also put some uh, files into it yes so we go back I should have my features that created again so let's look into what's there in this I have some other tools to open this I'm doing in notepad because that's the way a uh, first time user would do it this is the scenario and okay so my test will wait look uh, my test will check if there is login text shown on the screen if it's there then it will click on that and then you should see welcome or uh, welcome to the coolest app ever so we'll run the same command again it's much better I'll show you how it's what what's, what's it doing on my device this test will fail because the application which I have doesn't have the text which is mentioned in the scenario but it will yeah it's a good way to know that how tests fail okay it said step unsuccessful could not find anything uh, matching login because I don't have any text called login in my in my screen. Uh, sorry, in my app, I'll download a small utility called uh, Android Greencast Jar. So this is just to show uh, what's happening on my device on my screen, so that you guys can see that. I'm not faking too many things. I just run it. Okay, I can see my screen in here. Let's go to my port. Um, so instead of waiting for text uh, login text, I could I can change that to come and click on come and click on change date Be careful with the case uh, when you're writing a test. Calabash is case sensitive. You can make it case sensitive by using the Ruby comp comp ignore case comparison, but uh, let's not worry about that at the moment. Okay, what my test should do is just go to the screen and click on change date button. Don't know how clear it, uh, how fast uh, my. Now Android screencast application will respond 
but it should at least give you yeah, at least it should give a clear picture of what's happening so now it will uninstall the app install the app again along with the instrumentation backend server so that's that's the reason my app got closed so it's installing pickup view apk and launching the app and then clicking on change date so you can see that it's highlighted uh, it's what it was too quick um, if you want to see it properly uh, what we could do is go to features These are Calabash predefined steps. Let's see what it's doing now. Install the app, installing instrumentation backend and the application again. This time it should wait a while after clicking. Okay, uh, you can't see it in my under screen cast, but it's happening on my device. I can see it here. Uh, sorry for the, sorry for that. Uh, if you, I think this much, uh, these steps will uh, help you. Th these steps will help you in inst Calabash installation. And if you have any problems, uh, leave a comment on my YouTube video. If you like my videos, uh, please like and comment. I'm conducting an online session on uh, September 21st, 2013. Uh, if you want to attend, uh, please leave a comment, or uh, you can also mail me on. Mission tutorial at gmail.com. Thanks for watching my video.